Okay, so this is part two of the uh, power simulation tutorial using MATLAB and Simulink. Uh, if uh, you haven't seen the first video or you just want to uh, grab the model from the last video, uh, it's on the GitHub. I'll put a link in the description for you so you can grab that. All right, so last time we made a simple wheel model using Simulink. Uh, so here we've got the input and the output and our wheel subsystem in here. So what I'm going to show you how to do now is how to use variables in Simulink. So this is going to be really helpful for when you're wanting to change uh, certain values and not have to go through the entire simulation changing things one by one. So in this case here, uh, we've actually got this radius. We can turn this number into a MATLAB variable. So I'm just going to call this radius. Now we're going to get this caution error because radius doesn't actually exist in the uh, workspace yet. So we're going to click on here, create radius, and keep it on the base workspace. And we're going to set this value to 0 0.1. Creates. OK. So now we don't have an error. And then we can go to MATLAB. And we can see in the base workspace here, we've already created radius. So we've used radius somewhere else. And it's in this inertia calculation. So we're going to change this from 0 0.1 also to radius. Uh, now we can also change this to mass. Uh, we can make a variable for mass. Now mass doesn't exist, so we're going to go here and create mass. So mass was 0 0.6 kilograms. So that's going to be added to the base workspace as well. All right, so another thing we can do is we can set these parameters for the step input. So we can actually set the step time as well. So I'll set this to time. Uh, actually, I can't do that. We'll do this step time. Step time doesn't exist, so we are going to create step time. Set this. Let's say we're going to set this to 2 this time. So we're going to base workspace, final value. So I'm going to call that um, torque F. Let's create this in MATLAB 2.05. Creates okay. So now we can go over to MATLAB and we can see all these variables were created into our workspace. So with them being in the base workspace, we can actually go into our command window and we can manually change the values if we want. So if you want to change the mass to uh, say be one kilogram, mass is now updated to one kilogram. So when you run the simulink file, it will actually update everything uh, with the mass being one kilogram. So you can run the simulation. Give it a second to open up here. OK, so uh, you can see the uh, um, the angular or the uh, translational acceleration changed a little bit. Uh, so we were originally at uh, 1.667 as we were seeing in the last video. So now we're down to one. Uh, so you can see that the mass uh, changed how the wheel is accelerating due to the torque input. Uh, so from here, you can just change all the different variables that you want. Um, if you want to change the final uh, torque output, uh, you can change that up. You can even uh, set like an initial torque input if you wanted. Uh, we aren't going to do that in this video, um, but we can just clear the screen here. Next thing I want to show you is actually using a script to edit these variables uh, quicker. So I'm going to click on new script here. So we're going to create a blank MATLAB script and we're going to save it. And then you want to call it something uh, that's pretty descriptive uh, because this is basically going to be your command that you run in the command window. So I'm going to call this edit bars. Save that. Okay. So now we have edit bars. Um, Next thing we have to do is we have to save the workspace. So in order to like load the workspace in using this script, we actually have to have a saved workspace variable. So we're going to go here, click Save, and we're going to call this uh, Rover Bars. So now what we're going to do is call this load fun function and pass in uh, the name Rover Bars. 
So what that's going to do is it's going to load in the variables into the workspace, and then this will allow us to actually uh, change everything. So if I go into the command window and I type clear, that clears the current workspace. Now what I can do is hit edit vars, call edit vars, and now we've just loaded all the variables into the workspace. So now that we've got everything loaded in, we can set up uh, mass equals one and uh, radius equals 0 0.1, step time equals uh, two, and torque F equals 0 0.05. Okay, so now we have to save all the changes that are being made so we're going to call save rover vars. So what this is going to do is uh, it's going to save our changes. So if we were to uh, make these changes to the uh, to the variables and then close MATLAB, uh, the save will actually save the uh, the workspace file, and then we can use these variables without having to like edit them again. So the changes that are going to be made will be actually changed uh, locally on the file rather than just within the workspace itself. Uh, so here, let's say we wanted to change uh, the radius to 0 0.3. We call edit vars, make sure that this is saved, otherwise the change won't be made. So edit vars, now radius is set to 0 0.3. And then as you can see, when we run this model, all the changes are made. So now we have our step input at two, and we have a different acceleration, which is about uh, 0 0.33 meters per second squared. So this is just a really easy way to change any ver any numbers inside your Simulink file uh, without having to actually go in and change every single number manually. Because once you start making a really large file, uh, you're gonna have numbers that are shared in different locations. So having the variables is really easy for that. Uh, rather than having to type in the actual number, you can type in the variable, and then you can use a simple MATLAB script like this to change all the values and actually save it to a uh, workspace file so that you can have your changes saved for the next time that you open up MATLAB. Uh, one quick thing to remember before you actually, uh, so if you were to close MATLAB and then uh, open up Simulink, you can't run the Simulink file until you run this edit vars script or you load in the rover vars uh, file, like MATLAB file, just manually. Because when you first start off MATLAB or open MATLAB, so I'm just going to show you, the workspace is going to be empty. If you go into Simulink and you try to run this, it's going to give you all kinds of errors because you don't have uh, variables declared. So you need to make sure that. Uh, you are either loading the workspace in or you are calling the edit vars script uh, to make sure that the, uh, the variables are there and that Simulink is not going to get mad at you. Okay, so that is it for this video. Uh, the next video, I'm going to show you how to use some of the uh, Simscape libraries uh, that are built into Simulink to actually make simulating a, uh, a tire a lot easier and uh, eventually I'll be showing you how to do this, uh, how to simulate a wheel more realistically than what we're doing right now.